Okay, so this tutorial will cover some of the screen capturing and image capturing features of the CS 3D imaging software. We're currently using version 3.8.6 and you can start off by selecting the preferences and just double checking your picture icon. Uh, images are set to JPEGs. So you can use TIFF as well but J JPEGs tend to be uh, smaller file sizes and a little bit more universal. So the first option with capturing images is you can use the camera icon over here on the left hand side and that will capture actually whatever you see on the screen. So once you select that icon down here in the gallery you can see here this is the image that we just captured. I can double click on this and it will open up that image into the review tab. I can go back to my curve slicing tab. Uh, the other option you can do is if I wanted just an individual image I can maximize that screen I can also use that camera icon. It's still going to give me everything on this screen with this image a little bit larger. So down in the gallery, you can see this image is now captured. This cross-sectional view is larger, but I still get my orientation views on the right-hand side. If that's what you want, then that's going to be a great way to do it. Another way to do it is just using the individual capture icons here in each of the views. You can see here you have a picture of a floppy disk in each of the four views. It's actually a DICOM screenshot used to, in different DICOM viewers such as the Film Composer report in the CareStream software amongst others. So if I selected this screenshot it's also going to capture it down in my gallery and that particular image is going to look like this. So it's just an individual image of that particular view with no orientation views on the on the side panel as it were uh, from the other views for example like that all right but that DICOM screenshot again is only used in different DICOM viewers you can't take this image and put it into a word report or PowerPoint or an email uh, whereas the JPEG images you can and you can see down below you can differentiate which ones a JPEG and which ones a DICOM the little camera icons signify that it is a JPEG image. No icon signifies that it's a DICOM image. If you wanted each individual image um, as a JPEG with no side panel orientation views, you can do that as well. There's also a drop-down arrow next to each of these views and you see the little camera icon. So if you wanted this particular view as a JPEG, I can select my little drop down, select my camera icon, and that's going to put that JPEG image, again, camera icon, down in my gallery. No orientation view, and now I can use it in other applications or Microsoft applications or emails and things like that. So, other things you can do to uh, improve the screen capturing is, uh, for example, I'm going to switch over to uh, oblique slicing. You can see here I'm at the native resolution of 150 microns on my axial uh, view. So if I wanted to zoom in on a particular area, uh, you could. At 150 microns are very, very thin slices. And at that resolution, or even at a thinner slice of 75 microns, the images can look a little grainier uh, than uh, what you might be used to. So you can actually increase the slice thickness to something a little bit thicker, maybe 750 microns or even uh, one millimeter, 1.1 millimeter. You can see the difference in how it affects the images. So if, if you're using these images for presentation purposes or, or publishing or for teaching or for referrals, you want to make sure those images look the best uh, that represent you. So at 150 microns, again, you can see it's very, very thin and diagnostic. Um, and as long as you can still see what you're trying to see at that slightly thicker slice, it's going to look a little bit more aesthetic. So if we look at our molar region here, and I change this to 1.1, you can see how that affects the image. 
then it can take and screen capture put it down into my gallery here is my image if I wanted to use this image in uh, other applications I can do that so right from the CareStream software I can drag this image my mouse is still being held my left mouse button is still being held uh, I'm going to open up PowerPoint in this way still holding on to the left mouse button I let go and now that image is inside my PowerPoint and I can do my normal cropping if I wanted to okay you can also just restore this down a little bit let me just close these icons I have grab my screenshot right from my software and just drop it right onto my desktop and now I have my JPEG right on my desktop or I can also drag this image right into an email as well so a variety of things you can do right from the, the software after capturing Thank you.